Thank you very much for joining me today. I'm so glad that you are here. So let's get into the gist. What is really all about these sex tapes and sex tapes here and there? I want to understand, is it a new trend now or is this what they are using? Guys are just using to get on the... No. I'm talking about top shoot personalities. Are they, are they just trying to spoil their career? Or some people say this very lady and she's just chasing clouds. She did it purposely because of the millions that she wants, because of the money that is connected to what that video is all about. I'm not here to talk about that. If she's cloud chasing or if she's just you no know, like it's not something that she was aware of. They just want to dent her image out there in the public. That is not what I'm here for. But I don't know, I'm not forced to watch that video. Have you come to watch that video? Because when I saw that news, I had to go back and, you know, search on Google. I saw the video. I was like, this is not just what we are seeing here in Nigeria. I mean, those that knows, you know, many of our actresses and all over the world. You know, there was one time, this video I did last about uh, Sarah Martins. Many ladies are out there these days in Nollywood, not just only in Nollywood, in different places. I know you're going to be here watching me and I know you're one of those, you know, some people feel that if you can't, you know, make it, you have to fake it. You understand? You can just do anything, you know, you have to do. If it means just, you know, spreading your leg in the public for people to see, just to get that... You know that status that really you you are fantasizing you don't care whatever you do like when i was watching that video that's why i said if you've not done so i don't know if the video is still out there or if they have you know censored it i don't know yet but as i was just watching there was one i'm sure that was even the reason why a lot of them are saying this cloud chasing that she's just aware she just had she put it out there because she just wants her name to go all over the world so that people she will be known Okay, there was one part in that video where she was saying, set the video, where she was telling the guy, set the video. And to think about the very guy that did this, knows what he is doing. His face was there, um, you know, showing, shown in the video. And, you know, they're just doing it without any repentance. Like, these, these days, I want to know, these days, our girls... I'm not just only talking about the girls of, let's say, from 25 or from 30 or thereabouts. We're talking about girls of 12 or 15. I don't know what we are chasing. And the main reason why this whole thing is happening, why you're seeing these things are happening, because some people call it, that is even the reason why I'm making this video. Some people call it cloud chasing. If you don't know what cloud chasing is, if you can't make it, you have to, you know, fake it. Do everything you know you can do just to get that very name, your name to be known all over the world. Like, so that you can live that big life, that tasteful life that you see people. Look, you know what is deceiving people these days if you don't know? is social media. Social media has gone out of that level that... There is nothing that people find sacrilege anymore. That people don't call it anything like, you know, privacy anymore. So people just want to get out there and if it means their body, they have to sell it just to get what they want. What is deceiving a lot of people these days is because of these cars that you see many. You know, like I said, that video I did about Sarah Martins, as I was just talking in between, I said many of these Nollywood actresses, they are out there, many of them, if they are here watching me, they know what I'm talking about. And I was saying at, at, at their video, I said many of them now, you see, they be wondering, ah, even some people, their colleagues that are doing the same, you know, um, career with them, um, acting or actresses, they keep seeing many of these girls, not even the girls, but men, they build mansions, they get good, big, I'm talking of just, not just good cars, big top shot cars that in fact when you see somebody riding it and you don't even know the person you might just say okay this very person has a very good deal you no know, business that they are doing that's how they're able to afford this but when you know that person is into you know and into acting you begin to wonder is it the one they're paying them i want to know because i said there in that very video about sarah martins a lot of them they do other businesses including this you are saying about moyo lawa you know <laughs> i don't call this cloud chaser for me, I don't call it cloud chasing. I'm sure it's just something that, you know, she didn't even know that it's going to go out there. That is why I have to play it concerning our girls. If you are seeing the lives of people on social media, the way they are living this big, them are not just real. It's just pretensions, if you don't know. 
you admire the way many people many of the big girls the way they post cars they post big big you know uh, clothing um line and you just want to be like them you're tired of suffering you're tired of going through distress you're the kind of girl that really you you have dreams and you see your mother your family members they stay in an apartment that is not even enticing or maybe any of them and you're being hospitalized and you don't even have money you know a lot of things can push people to do whatever they want to do all they know if they're able to get that very money or they're able to afford that lifestyle they don't want they don't care what happens after you know and if i say okay this is cloud chasing because they're like i said in that very video just if you're watching for the site alone everything was just out there everything was just out there like they were just doing it real deal in the public eyes i saw um the picture she posted on her instagram page and when i got there i saw the picture you know i know a lot of people are going through psychological you know, stress, a lot of psychological stresses this day people go through and you have to be careful so that because some of them might even go and commit suicide some of them you might not even know that why you bully them because i'm just trying as much as i can to make this video you know not to judge anybody because i know some people can't handle stress so people can handle hard life so people can handle when they see themselves in a very difficult situation they don't know how to handle stress they don't know how to handle hardship and everything they have to do instantly at that moment just to get out of that situation they have to go ahead to do it you know she just was posing strong and when i was looking at the comment section of that very post of the picture she made you know people are just concerning her this is going to pass this is going to pass as much as they are trying to encourage her that this is going to pass how did she get there that is the one Thing I keep imagining. How did you get there? How did you even come to that? If you see the picture she posts, if you see the way she, she like, is there no privacy anymore? This is, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, if you can't just get it, anything that has to, you know, have to take you to get that very lifestyle, that very life you want to live, that happening like that. Now, you see many of our celebrities, their breasts are just open. You see them with I'm not condemning anybody here. Like I said, a lot of people are going through a lot of stress, especially now back home in Nigeria, where you see the government of the day are not just trying to help matters. People are trying to live that lifestyle they want to live. You know, when you are under the sun and you see people driving big cars, if you don't know the difference, my dear, when you go through it, you understand. Like you want to be in that car rather than being in the sun. The rain is falling and there. And in that, we you know in Lagos, part of Lagos, so part of Nigeria, especially in Lagos, that very thick. I know traffic that always happens people have to wake up and hustle you know if it has to take them just bringing themselves out there in the open you know what i mean by that the clothing they wear in fact sometimes i say god i pity most of our men you know sometimes this man you are seeing it's not like they just want to you know be in that very um you know situation of doing side chicken or maybe side chicks or whatever they call it out there it's not like they want it in fact, pray for our men. Pray for our men. It's not easy. It's in their nature. Many of our women might see these things. You see this naked. You see some men carrying macho. They snap picture and you see their muzzle. It's not many of our, many of our women cannot be dead. A lot of them that cannot be, especially if they are married or maybe if they're just that kind of um, reserve type. They cannot be moved the way you see a man move when he sees a naked woman. I'm talking about practically being naked because when you say you are covering yourself, what's the need of covering yourself when you just wear half bra, everything at the side of your collar are showing part of your <laughs> god oh my down there is showing it's not even better that you open like i said pray for our men many of them they don't just don't like to do those kind of thing that you see many of us you know condemning them for if a married woman pray for your men and you know in the future ahead if it's like this in this generation you can imagine what is going to happen in the future to come for our young kids too, you pray for your young little baby boys. Pray for the ones that is going to come into the world soon. Just pray for men. It's not in their nature to like. It though it's in their nature to cheat. If I may say, it's in their nature to cheat. But it has to do with the ones that just make up their mind and say no, this cheating stuff is not for me, and they have to stand by it. But you see those ones that are easily lost. You know we are moved by what we see. Bible said it. If you say you have not slept with a woman, but you fantasize how with your eyes you've already committed sin i know people will say hey, she's just attacking she's trying to uh, advise us we just want please flip her out 
flip me away what i'm saying is not the truth but remember you see those things that she's saying there in social media she's just then flexing her body her body still fresh even when i was going through the comment section when people were talking about they said the guy didn't even do her very well the guy is just a kind of live living type of man can't he do this he would have just pounded her he would have just done this and the woman has fresh breasts everything oh, you know, people were just the talking things about the scene of that very video and if you think those things you know be the lady is out there and she's just like ah i heard you just speaking some side like ah people are saying I'm fresh, this and that look when you are 60 years that breast you see these things they are showing you know many of them will say when we are 80 years when we are 60 years at least before we we'll be 60 years we would have made with that beauty all these things you are going to leave it down here if you are still being deceived by the things that are happening on social media and you want to follow them with the kind of life that they live look the end justifies the means by 60 years, by 50 years, you're not going to look fresh the way you are right now. So just start to flip up that very curves that you have. Do everything that you know you want to do. But being, you know, found in that very situation, just like Moyo Lawa I'm talking about, how did she get there? If it's not in that environment for that to happen, that wouldn't have happened. Aren't you seeing her pictures? I'm not yet to judge. I'm not just because I'm not yet to bully. You know, anyhow you have to see this. But it's wrong. Very wrong. It's just out of the line. Please, the reason why most of us do this video, I don't know why you are here on social media, but we are here to encourage people because why I do most of these videos here, there are some things I see on social media. I bring it here for you to also learn something from it. I'm not just here just to post big um, videos so that uh, I will have more followers and that, but to learn something out of it. How did she get there? If you're not in the midst, they say, if you're in the midst of those that live, the flyboyant life, you don't care, you just live life, big life. You'll be the next person that will live big life, fine. But are you living it in a positive way or negative way? I'm, I'm not here. Our pictures, is this, is it not what attracts those kind of, this kind of things you're seeing now, that she's been posted everywhere. I know she, she has a lot of deals right now. She's into this, you know, a lot of people have this kind of contract they've given her, I'm sure. And that is the reason why a lot of people are leaving comment because this is going to pass, not to her. It's just a situation, you know, this and that. And she, I know I'm seeing those pictures. I'm not here to judge and say, even with everything that she's happy, she's still strong. She's still able to snap pictures. You know, she has friends and the likes of Bob Risky. You've seen Bob Risky and her snappy pictures and most of these big actresses. If you are into this stuff of acting or you are a social media influencer or you are big top shot out there being known all over the world it's good to do those things but please do it in a moderate way because many of our young girls who are they learning from is the thing they see that is what attracts them to live that kind of life if you feel that eh, everybody with their own if they feel that what they see if they want to live out that life of the, of the kind of life they see they should go ahead it's not your part of your business but remember you have sister you have family member my god's grace if you bring children to this even when many of them that already have children they don't care what their children see about them oh they know just to make money to be able to afford to give the good life to their children oh god this century and this generation that we're living in so uh please hope you learned something from this video you're not just there to watch that video but please look at it in another way around positively so people are just there encouraging her fine but how is the place that you get the place you go to that's what attracts these kind of things the people that you hang out with the kind of lifestyle you live that's what attracts these kind of things you understand she might just be there people are encouraging her telling her be strong you know this it's just a passing phase that anything you post on social media in future to kind of some people will say doesn't mean let it just be there and after all that has happened already what do we do please be careful when you do those things be, be careful what i mean this way of life the, the way things are in this end time we are in end time you came here not just only just to influence people um you know positively but you know negatively if you have come into this world to influence people negatively it's, it's just out of the line it's just a no-no okay so hope you enjoyed this video today hope you learned something from this video and um please just not just only be safe out there be safe because a lot of men now that are doing this sex tape even many married women they are just trying to catch them into their trap many of them if they catch into their trap they will appear so loving if it means them spending 
big amount of money even though some of them they have big you know top short people that always get them to do this kind of business it's a business if you don't know many men they, and they were appear so rich what they do to make that money is this you know this sex tape you will come and just you know spread a lot of money on you showcase the things that they have and you fall into their trap what they just want to do just to use you and spread your naked you know, pictures everywhere so be careful okay like i said be careful and please try as much as you can to live a life that is you know as you know good moderate standard that people you know our future children um, that are yet to come we learned something from so thank you very much and please if you do not like to listen sure to like and also share our videos subscribe and also turn on your bell so that you'll be notified when we have a new content so we're gonna see on our next